Vesicular bullous lesions. A strong bond between different layers of the oral tissues keeps our oral mucosa healthy. Sometimes certain conditions can disrupt this bond and cause blister-like lesions called vesicles and bullae. Today's video focuses on enumerating these conditions called vesicular bullous lesions which affect both mucosa and skin. Since the oral mucosa is thin, vesicles and bullae break rapidly into ulcers. The ulcers can then become irritated by teeth and food, sometimes leading to secondary infections. Pop quiz Let us now enumerate vesicular bullous lesions with classifications. According to Burkitts, the first classification categorizes them as acute multiple lesions, chronic multiple lesions, and recurrent lesions. Acute multiple lesions include quite a few lesions, so an easy way to remember them is with the help of a mnemonic. Healthy cavity free visit every appointment. The lesions we have are Herpes virus infections, Coxsackie virus infections, Varicella zoster infections, Erythema multiforme, and allergic stomatitis. The next category of chronic multiple lesions can be remembered with this mnemonic. Picnic baskets must have eggs. Include pemphigus, bullous pemphigoid, mucous membrane pemphigoid, herpes simplex virus infection in immunodeficiency, erosive and bullous lichen planus. The third category of recurrent lesions include recurrent herpes simplex viral infections. Another important classification of vesicular bullous lesions is based on the textbook of oral pathology by Regezi and Scuba. Here the lesions are categorized as viral diseases, conditions associated with immunologic disorders and hereditary diseases. Let's check out a mnemonic to remember. The first category of viral diseases, hippos have very huge meals. The viral lesions include herpes simplex infection, hand, foot and mouth diseases, varicella zoster infections, herpangina and measles. The second category of conditions associated with immunologic defects include pemphigus vulgaris, circuitricial pemphigoid, bullis pemphigoid, dermatitis hepatiformis. The last category of hereditary diseases includes epidermolysis bullosa. Here are the tables showing both the classifications we covered. Feel free to take a screenshot. Having covered the two main classifications of vesicular bullous lesions, we have now come to the end of this video. Hope you had fun learning with us.